What's up guys, it's Rondé Barber. Gotta apologize at the top, my voice is a little hoarse. My producers made me do 55 video messages last week prior to the Eagles game, and so I'm a little hoarse. Could have been yelling at the game as well. But how good was it to see our Buccaneers shut down the Philadelphia Eagles 15 to 31? And largely because of the play of our safeties. Jordan Whitehead, Antoine Winfield, and Mike Edwards are gonna prominently be focused on in our film session presented by Windows 11. All right, so from the very get-go of this game, this Eagles team, number one rushing offense in the NFL. And for a reason, they are. They have four or five backs, they have a quarterback that can run the heck out of the ball, and they run a ton of read option type of plays where the quarterback is meshing it with the running back and deciding whether to run or play. Well, early in the game, first third down, they stopped them. This is the second series of the game. And how did the Bucks do this? They said, we're gonna play man-to-man -man defense and we're gonna put our safeties in the box and dare you to throw the football, which they didn't, they ended up having to do, but you had to stop the run first and the Bucks did it gloriously while shutting down the Eagles in this game. Here we go. I want you to focus first of all on Jordan Whitehead, our first safety of note in this game, number 33. I love to talk about this kid because he's had a heck of a year. Now watch this. So man to man across the board, right? You can see it. Line of scrimmage man to man, line of scrimmage man to man. Uh, Levante David, uh, welcome back, has the tight end man to man. Devin White has this running back man to man, all right? So, and man to man, you can, you can close gaps, right? You always have a hat on a hat. Now, this is supposed to be an influence block right here by this tight end at the bottom of the line of scrimmage right here, trying to fool Shaq Barrett. Does he fool him? No, Shaq does his job perfectly. And then because Jordan Whitehead has his guy, this tight end, man to man, he just follows a play and he's been doing this all year. This is so pretty. He's like one of the best open field tacklers I've seen in a long, long time. You can see exactly from the end zone what we're talking about here. It's not that pretty, but I love this. I just love the aggressiveness. Run, shut down. This team ran the ball 32 times per game during the regular season. They gave up on it on 17 this game. They had 94 yards, one of them was a 34 yard touchdown. I'm not counting that, the game was over. All right, moving on. Next play, so our safeties. How good a game did they have? Well. We didn't have a nickel back in this game. Guess who played nickel back in this game for us? Number 31, Antoine Winfield. And now when you have three safeties on the field, this is sub offense, right? There's three, three wide receivers, right? Well, we don't match it with three corners, we match it with three safeties. Jordan Whitehead in the middle, Antoine Winfield down here, Mike Edwards at the bottom of the screen. What this allows you to do, watch this. When they go in motion, we don't have to trade. We don't have to trade positions. Mike Edwards goes, puts the blitz back on with the corner. He goes over. Antoine Winfield comes over here. The blitz trades. He's going to pressure. Now, why I wanted to draw up this play? Because this is a sack. This is early in the football game. Why I wanted to drop this play? Because it really emphasizes the genius of our defensive scheme, right? What does this look like? To me, this looks like maybe man to man down at the bottom of the screen. You might have a safety over the top, could be quarters over here, who knows, right? Jalen Hurts doesn't know, I know that for sure, because when this ball is snapped, what looks like a five man pressure ends up being a four man blitz. You're gonna see Jamel Dean come off the edge, here's Antoine Winfield, our focus coming off the edge. These two defensive tackles drop in the coverage, and at the end of the day, this is just a four-man rush. The, the, the Eagles offensive line is like, what in the heck is going on? The two biggest dudes on our defense are in coverage, and Jalen Hurts can't get rid of the ball. Antoine Winfield sack. You'll see it from the end zone, exactly what I'm talking about. Look at these four deep down defensive linemen, right? Who's coming, who's not? These two guys pull out. Actually pretty good feet for big men. Let like them skip and shuffle and whatever. And Antoine Winfield will not be blocked. It reminds me of somebody that wasn't blocked against the Philly Eagles all the time. Yeah, no, different story. All right, so stop the run, get after the, get after the quarterback. We force Philadelphia to throw the football, and to me, this is the single biggest play of the game. 
And why do I say that? Because right before the half, 58 seconds left, 17 points, zero points, and Philly is going into score, right? And when I watched this play back originally, I was like, oh man, this is a touchdown. Because they are playing man-to-man -man defense, man-to-man -man defense, man-to-man -man defense, and most importantly, man-to-man -man defense down here, right? This is a double move, and Jamel Dean, unfortunately, slips. <laughs> it happens, it happens. But because the pressure is so good up front, Levante David coming off one side, Devin White coming off the other, forcing Jalen Hurts to do what he doesn't do well is make quick decisions throwing the football. And as he has to escape, you think this is a touchdown, right? If I stop that right there, you said touchdown. Devontae Smith is wide open. However, let's go back and mention Mike Edwards, middle of the field. This is excellent safety play. Why? Because when the quarterback starts to escape the pocket, all you have to do is cover one half of the field. And when I looked this back, said touchdown, and then I looked back and looked at Mike Edwards, and I said, this is an interception all the way. It's almost like he's baiting him. Please throw this ball. I know Jamel Dean is beat on the ground. Please throw this ball. And he does. Could have been 17 to seven. It was 17 to nothing, and the route was on. All right. Only other play I gotta show you guys is because we had another turnover in this game. Shaq Barrett with a great interception, athletic interception. Right? Unbelievable for a defensive lineman. And he looked like a defensive lineman running with it afterwards. However, it did set up a touchdown pass to my favorite player in the playoffs right now, Mike Evans. And look, Bucks were able to run the ball pretty consistently in this game. Keyshawn Vaughn had a great start. The first play of the game was a breakout run for the Bucks. Watch this play action, this play action action by the Bucks offense here, and watch what it does to these five defenders for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, if you said, I'm gonna give you Mike Evans against any DB, much less a safety, one-on-one -on -one with no help, with all this field to work with, would you think it would be a touchdown? That's exactly what happens. And look how easily these two guys especially get sucked into this play fake. And I mean, I know I said Zach could throw a touchdown last week. He could easily throw this one. I mean, Alec, my other guy could probably throw this one. He didn't even play quarterback, but it's a touchdown. Mike Evans is gonna have to have a big week going forward in our playoffs because we're beat up at receiver. I know it's the Los Angeles Rams coming in. They're everybody's favorite. But you know what? I think I'm gonna come back with a positive film session next week as well. I'll see you guys then. Cheers.